So I was going to record this video like a couple of days ago and I didn't really like know where to begin. So I like sat here and I literally tried to record the video for like three and a half, four hours. And I didn't get past the intro because like my mind was all over the place and I didn't know where to start. And I felt like this is just going to be a mess. So here I am once again, um, trying to record this video where we're gonna talk a little bit about like everything that has to do with YouTube and my current position right now and not like the how to grow your channel or anything like that but more like more like the the things that you guys might not consider and the things that I experienced with the rapid growth of my channel because it's 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 been such a weird sensation growing from like a couple of hundred subscribers here on the channel to way over 200,000 and I'm really privileged to be in such a situation and I'm so honored that so many of you are enjoying my content so uh, first off I just want to say thank you but like this is going to be like a kind of a one-on-one -on -one, uh, chat because I don't know I, I don't think we've ever had one you know where I just sit down and talk about my feelings I'm actually really bad about like talking about my feelings um but as you know you know I'm 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 a one-man band you know I'm I'm rocking this uh all by myself I'm uh, making my videos all by myself I'm editing my videos all by myself I'm shooting all the content I'm coming up with the ideas and basically everything that you see here on the channel is like started right here and then occasionally have some friends joining in like Oscar and Jonas and a bunch of other people but most of the time it's basically just me and that also makes this job that we can say that it is the most lonely job that I've ever had so when I started this channel I didn't have any kind of like expectations on that we should be able to grow at the rate that we did and that I would actually be able to make a living from uploading videos onto YouTube. The only thing that I like wanted to do with the channel was to become better at videography and photography and like if I could like bring in an audience and like have a good time and keep uploading my videos but what I didn't realize was the insane amount of work that goes into having a YouTube channel and uploading consistently and being able to like always trying to step up your content. I mean like one of the most fun things that I think is to create vlogs, you know, because I really like the whole aspect of sharing your life and being a part of someone's like daily routines or daily daily lives basically. I just just like the whole feeling of it, especially if there's someone that can really like engage with you as the viewer. But what I've realized is that whenever I make a vlog here on the channel, it doesn't get nearly as many views than if I do a tutorial or if I do a review or if I do some kind of like gear talk. And I mean like if I want to have this as my like daily job and keep on making money from uploading videos onto YouTube, then I can't like invest all the time into making vlogs because the time that I invest into making a vlog is not going to be worth it when you compare it to like doing a tutorial or talking about gear or something like that. There's probably a lot of you that are watching right now that wants to have your own YouTube channel and like grow your own audience and have a couple of hundred thousand subscribers but I'm gonna be quite harsh here and say that there's not a lot of you that actually want to put in the hard work and do all of the things that will be required from you to actually get there and like when I'm saying that I'm, I'm I'm thinking back on 2019 and the insane amount of hours that I spent and invested into this channel uh, to be able to create the content that I made. I mean like I set up a goal for myself to make three videos every single week during the entire year of 2019. Like I could not imagine how hard it would be if I said to myself like you're gonna daily vlog that would be intense. The fun thing with me is that when I like decide to do something and when I think something is really fun, there is no stopping me in trying to becoming the absolute best 
that I can be into that specific thing that I want to do. So like, for example, when I was like younger, I used to draw like a lot when I was like 10 years old. And then as I got a little bit older, I picked up the guitar and I would spend like five or six hours every single day into practicing on like learning a couple of different songs. And when I started to like pick up the camera and doing a lot of like photos and videography, then I spent so many hours into becoming better at that. And when I said to myself, you know, I want to make YouTube a full-time thing during 2019, that was the goal that I wanted to reach during 2019. And I did, but also sacrificed a lot of time with my family, as I've said before, you know, in the burnout video, uh, because I think that I was really close to burning out during 2019. And when it comes to like the money aspect of YouTube, I personally did think that you would earn way more than what you actually do from the YouTube ad revenue. I mean, like when I first made money on my YouTube channel, I made like 50 cents a day. And that was like, that was huge because it was like, I made money on YouTube. And now you're probably thinking like, dude, Peter is making a lot of money, you're probably watching like the social blade page and you're seeing like the huge numbers, but the amount of money that I make from YouTube, like average every single month is somewhere around like 2,400 bucks. And then I have to pay like 50% taxes on that. And that is what you get like into your own pocket. So what I get every month is like 1,200 that I can use for myself personally and then a rent is like 900 bucks so even though i do make money on youtube i'm not making this huge insane amount of money that social blade is saying that i'm making i'm like making enough money to be able to sustain my family and pay the rent on our apartment and that is also something that is giving me a constant stress because the amount of money that i make from youtube is completely linked to the amount of videos that I upload to YouTube and the amount of views that those videos get when I post them onto YouTube. So like, I know that there's a lot of creators saying that you should do what you enjoy to do and create the things that you are uh, finding the most joy from and don't care about what other people think. And while I do think that is true, you should always strive to do what you enjoy to do you also gotta consider, especially if you wanna make YouTube a full-time thing, you also gotta consider how much views will this video get and is it worth making this video or should I make this video instead and get a little bit more views. So if I post a video and that gets like four or 5,000 views, then I instantly feel like a pressure on my shoulder that Peter, you gotta get out there, you gotta create a new video that gets more views so that you will make enough money to be able to stay in your family for the next month. So like the stress from YouTube and seeing like the ad revenue and be able to like make the money from that is like huge as compared to having a daytime job where you know like this is how much money you get if you do this amount of work. And I mean like having the stress of constantly thinking about how your video performs because it's directly linked to the amount of money that you'll get is definitely tough, you know? It definitely takes uh, takes a toll on you. And in my case, it also like gets me um, anxious, you know? Because I do feel a lot of anxiety when I'm posting a video that, man, what if this video don't perform? I spend like this and this amount of hours into it and do I have to make a new video within the same field or in a completely different field like tomorrow to be able to make like cover up that video that I dropped right here. So like there's there's a lot of things that is going on when you get up to like a certain point. And I think like the algorithm is in one way like making you form your content so that it matches the audience that the algorithm will promote your content to. And I mean like aside from the like stress and the anxiety, one of the biggest hurdles for me is that I'm not speaking like English as my mother tongue. Like my, my mother tongue is Swedish and I'm trying my absolute best not to like have an accent when I'm talking in my 
English accent unless I'm doing like that because this is my uh, swing English um, but that that is definitely making everything a hurdle so for example if I'm recording a vlog here in Sweden then it's really hard to like interact with people in English because it doesn't feel natural and since I know the language it's easier for me to like speak Swedish and you know this is, this is kind of a weird thing and it also takes a lot of time not always, but most of the time when I'm recording my videos because I don't really know how to like express myself and uh, make sense with the words that are coming out of my mouth when I'm talking. But the absolute hardest part with this and being a full-time YouTuber right now is that I am a one-man band. It's like there's no one else here that are helping me to make these videos and it's also really, really hard to find some kind of like balance between work and family and that is like that is something that I need to find during this year because I don't want to have 2020 to be like another year like 2019 was because like Amanda was home uh, basically taking Alex 18 hours every single day or like even 20 hours every single day while I was away working with this and recording freelance videos and doing that and I, I, I was not at home you know I, I didn't have any uh, work balance at all when it comes to like family and work so being a one-man band is hard and being like a one-man youtuber is hard and one thing that I really really miss is the like creative uh, challenge that you get when you're talking to someone that is in the same field or that is like really driven and that really wants to like perform in a good way or become better you know because like having two people that want to strive for perfection is always gonna push uh, push each other going up so like that that is that's really hard so I don't want you to like interpret this video in negative in any kind of way or like me complaining or anything like that because it's basically like my thoughts on where I am right now and what it's like growing from like 800 subscribers to 200,000 subscribers in a really short period of time and going from uh, like quitting your daytime job to becoming a full-time youtuber and that it might not be like as easy as some might just think but again I'm super super privileged to be where I am and I'm so honored that so many of you are here supporting me in what I do and willing to like spend your actual time watching my videos and just hang out with me and you know I'm, I'm I couldn't have a better job I'm I'm, I'm just um I'm just uh, feeling a little bit like uh, trying to find a way here where I'm uh, where I have to go to be able to improve myself even more so that you can get better content so yeah you know uh, <laughs> I don't really know how to finish this off but um, again thank you so much for being here thanks so much for watching and if you like the video you might want to consider subscribing um, because it does help like it does help a lot and um, yeah I'm, I'm honored to be a part of this community and I really really look forward to this year as something that is gonna be like definitely uh, really cool year <laughs> I, I don't know I don't know how to finish this off I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna end the video right here all right uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, Take care.